Hello everyone, welcome back to Basileus TV. Today we'll be talking about the most discussed song on your Twitter timeline in the past 10 days, which is now of course the number one hit song in the country, Cadiz B's Megan Thee Stallion Assisted WAP. This song has electrified fans and horrified conservative wits, its sexually explicit lyrics and perspective. Debut at top of the Hot 100 while setting a new record for first week streams with over 90 3 million. Well, before we proceed, please, if you're new to this channel, kindly hit the subscribe button, turn on your notification bell, leave a comment below. I subscribe, I'll do well to reply to every comment. Your comments are highly appreciated. The song WAP adds to the Hot 100 number one tallies for each rapper, marking Cadiz B's fourth after Bodak Yellow Money Moves, I Like It with J Balvin and Bad Bunny, and a guest on on Maroon 5's Girls Like You and Megan's second after Savage with Beyonce. In addition, it marks the fourth all-female collapse to hit the 100 Apex in 2020, after just six such tracks total reign over the course of the Hot 100 first six decades. Well, what's to be made of the controversy surrounding WAP? There are five questions which we both need to answer about this track, and the first question is, WAP debut at number one this week with an unprecedented number of first week streams and as such discussed as any new single this year. How worthy do you feel the song itself is of a massive amount of buzz and debate around it? That's the first question and here is an answer from Tatiana Sirisano. Well guys, here's what Tatiana had to say. So restricting my thoughts to the song itself, I think it's a smart and catchy flip of the script on a male gaze focus sample that deserves all the boss it's getting right now. Bo rapper's confidence is palpable and the lyrics, while yes, Rochi, are also clever as well. But I would argue that you can't really separate the song from its context anyway. It's an unabashedly sex positive banger coming from two of rap's most exciting female stars with a gloriously over-the-top cameo filled with music video to the boot. Going further, Tatiana argues that the stigma is worse for black women and women of color. The persistence of that stigma makes WAP rebellious by definition. According to her, the song is liberating and very powerful. And that one thing she has to say is that the song deserves praises because of the way the video uplifts other women and with cameo from the likes of Rosalie and Normani, making it clear that this is a song and video about sex that is made by women for women and that's groundbreaking. Now let's move to the second question. Second question however is still about WAP. According to the question, say obviously WAP has reached a flashpoint for much media discussion about the role of explicit sexuality, particularly from female artists in pop and hip hop. Do you think the song actually breaks any new ground in that respect, or is it that the controversy just playing catch up for old debates in 2020? Here's what Tatiana has to say, guys. The controversy itself is outdated and ridiculous. I feel instinctually as I write this next line, knowing that I am only stating the glorious obvious. Men has rapped about sex years for years and years. How they like it, how big their penises are, what precisely a woman should be doing, without strong blackish. But a woman rapping about the same things, especially when she's the one calling the shot, men are a footnote in WAP's lyrics and Why notably absent from the video, is seen as vulgar, wrong and perhaps worse of all. Well, I don't think that's a justification for saying the track Why is not good enough. Do you agree with her? Well, please leave a comment down below. Question number three. Despite it's been just two years and changed since the release of her debut album, Invasion of Privacy, Cardi B has had to contend with much speculations about her supposed commercial fall-off, particularly following a less visible 2019 on the chart. Does the resounding success of WAP answer all potential concerns about her continued commercial viability or does she still have anything to prove? And this is what Tatiana has to say. say are we not counting on Cardi B's smash coronavirus remix? I think we know Cardi B by now. She is a star. 
She spent much of her 2019 under the radar raising her and offset daughter culture. But in the past three years, under the music industry spotlight, Cardi B has earned four number one hits and landed four more in the top ten chart. Going to the fourth question, with WAP going to number one, it marks the fourth hot hundred topping single this year and the third with hip hop connections to feature multiple female artists. Is there still merit in drawing specific attention to the success that women artists are enjoying in collaboration with one another this year, or is it starting to be insulting to still constantly be putting these achievements in such gender terms? Answering the aforenoted question, Tatiana stated that sure, I wish we didn't feel the need to put these achievements in such gender terms. But the fact remains that sexism is still an ugly and persistent stain on culture around the world. And as a result, achievements like this ones are notable. In the words of Michelle Obama, mockingly quoting Donald Trump, it is what it is. I don't think we are doing anyone any favor by ignoring that. In fact, pointing out the success that female artists are enjoying in collaboration with one another and especially in hip hop, a genre that has notoriously not been welcoming to women, has the one-two punch of praising these women for their work while simultaneously highlighting the sexism that makes it noteworthy in the first place. Good fucking morning! I just woke up and look motherfuckers, look, look, look. Billboard High 100. No, no, what? No, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Wild debuts 93 million US streams, the most for a song in opening week in history. Wait, hold on. Hold on, hold on. I'm lost right this thing, really. Wild debuts number one on digital song sale chart with the biggest sales week of 2020. I'm gonna get glammed up. I had to come outside because I didn't want to wake nobody up. I'm gonna get glammed up and I'm not even gonna talk my shit. I'm gonna give you a testimony. And I wanna say thank you so much, Megan the Stanley. Like, I hope, I hope you're just as happy as I am. But I just wanna, later on, I'm gonna give you a testimony because when I tell you, when Jesus says yes, nobody can say no. So, our last yeah. question of the day give a shout out to one absolutely lyrical feel to song from anyone at any time that you love to see. Go to number one on the hot 100. And this is what Tatiana has to say Missy Elliott's Walk It, which reached number two but never reached the summit. It is travesty. The song basically invented words. The first word is Badong Kadong, and even part in Glirish. Somehow feel explicit. Sample lyrics call before you come. I need to shave my torture you do or you don't or you will or won't yeah go down and eat eat like a vulture <laughs> this is insane guys so what do you have what do you have to say about um this very amazing track wap leave a comment